Environmental Protection Agency inspectors helicopter into a remote national park in the Amazon state of Pará, where thousands of heads of cattle have been raised illegally. They're now being confiscated, but it's too late for the rainforest, which has already been cleared. In the Yanomami Indigenous Reserve, a joint government task force sweeps in to destroy illegal mining assets. While in the city of Belém, inspectors check out a lumberyard's timber to ensure it comes from a legal source, before being shipped to England next week. Alex Lacerda de Sousa heads the environmental agency IBAMA in the state of Pará, which is the size of Angola. He says that under former President Jair Bolsonaro, illegal cattle farmers and loggers operated freely. In the previous four years, we faced the opposition of the president himself. He joined social networks that criminals took part in to say that Obama couldn't police them. Our agents were attacked and received death threats. But the tide has shifted. Environmental protection agencies are receiving more financial and political support from the new government, and it's making a difference. Satellite data shows a decrease of nearly 60 percent in deforestation compared to the same period last year. It's the lowest drop in six years, but still much higher than between 2008 and 2017. Look, this is where they've been starting to mark the area they will clear. This was in May, and a month later in June, all the trees you see in the pink area have been removed. That's equivalent to 750 Maracana football stadiums. Brazil's new left-wing government says it's committed to combating climate change and reversing deforestation in the Amazon. But it's easier said than done. Brazil's Congress is controlled by the conservative opposition. In fact, the lower house has already passed a bill that would open up protected areas to commercial interests, such as oil, mining and logging. Should the Senate pass that bill as well, then President Lula da Silva's promise to reach zero deforestation by the end of this decade would be a moot point. There's fierce pressure from powerful sectors in the economy, as well as some local communities, to fast-track investment and development in the Amazon. The issue is finding ways to do so without destroying it. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Belém.